Hey, I'm Chris, the producer at Grandy Gear Games. And I'm Jonathan, the lead programmer at Grandy Gear Games. We're going to play through the beginning of uh, Act 1 of Path of Exile today um, on our staging server, which is basically where we test the game in our internal office. And the version we'll be playing is the same as the one that's currently on the beta realm. So, what class do you play? I'm playing Marauder, my favourite at the moment. Okay. Uh, do you, what are your ranger? Your range is good. Alright, uh, uh, but I mean, I could go Witch. Yeah, if you want to. She's pretty good. Uh, Remember to pick Hardcore. Yeah, alright. Sweet. Now I'll go Ranger. Ranger. Oh. Someone already made a character called Ranger on this realm, I guess? Yeah, I was careful not to pick Chris. <laughs> alright. Okay, so we've got to play through the first area before we can meet up in town. I have a bug. Okay. In the first area, the damage of the weapons is high enough that um, you may as well use a bow to clear the monsters. That means you don't have to run up to them. I'll probably have to switch back to my club as soon as I get my first skill, though. We actually have something experimental going on in this area. It's the only area in the game where there's actually an aggro radius on the monsters. Like you can see in the corner of the screen, these guys are not attacking me until I get a bit closer. We're just testing it out, kind of like a thing to make it easier for new players. Is, there, is, is that really not done in any other area? Yeah, it's set to larger than the radius of the screen everywhere else. Oh, right. Do you think we're, well, I mean, we're going to do it per monster eventually, right? Yeah, it is actually it is actually set per monster, just all the monsters in this area. Are set like that. We should probably set the zombies in the other areas to have a lower aggro radius yeah. uh, as well. Problem is as the experience gets higher, players begin to abuse them, you know, if the monster doesn't attempt to attack you. Right. Yeah, I guess so. Well we still have that logic where um, things run away if they get hurt. But I guess it's pretty easy to kill monsters with one hit sometimes. So. Yeah, I actually failed a bit when I was adding this aggro radius thing. I put a minimum and a maximum radius with a chance that it would aggro you as it and, um, got, interpolates between those values. Right. The problem was it checks it very frequently, so it basically aggroes you as soon as you get within the minimum radius. Okay. Do we actually have that still implemented? Yeah, it's actually not that old. We should, yeah. prob we should probably um, make it, I guess, check this frequently. Yeah. I mean, there's supposed to be that stat as well. That's used for um, what's it called? The skill we run phase run. run. Yeah, the intention is that phase run will mean that the monsters are slower to attack you. That'll be pretty cool to hook up, actually, because at the moment it's just a bad run skill. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it's still kind of useful. I mean, it does how much? What's the extra damage on that? Uh, it's quite a big boost for your next melee hit, and good players will turn it on and then uh, you know use it for their next hit. The problem is a lot of players just interpret it as a movement skill. Right, right. So I've been playing a bit mindlessly while talking here. Got my items on. Huh. No, uh, no magical rares from Hell, it seems. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, that's the thing. Our boss drops are actually a bit too random at the moment. Often you'll get good items. Sometimes you'll get complete hey, junk. There you are. There you are. And oh. interesting. There's a whole bunch of stuff here. Add friend, invite to guild, and send mail. None of which do anything. Yeah. Well, you know. I guess it just implies that there are the features there. Yeah, but the we. Future. we the guy who put invite to guild in just did it without asking. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We don't have any guilds yet. Uh, what do I want? I think I'll just go with split arrow. What are you? Are you planning on two hand or one hand? I'm not sure yet. I actually quite like the way that the tree as it stands at the moment does let you wait a little while before deciding. Oops. So there's a place down here where you can choose whether to go one handed or two handed. And I'll probably wait. So you're just gonna go for the damage? Yeah, twelve percent melee damage is pretty attractive. Hmm. I, wonder, I actually could try to go do the um, the dual world ranger. Have you tried one of those recently? I, I haven't personally, but Carl and Rory have, and a bunch of the testers. Have, do, is it good or? It, it's pretty good because of the fact that you can get quite a lot of DPS up close. Yeah, it's kind of squishy though, so be careful. Uh, I'm not going to do it. I was just thinking about it. Okay, cool. Well, I've got my stuff. You've accepted the party. Uh, yep, I'm in the party. Okay, let's go to the terraces. Sweet. Stuff before I got one. Yeah, well, that's the that's sort of range, right? And then you get to ninja the icons. Nice. Yeah, and you've got a quiver already. Bye, damage. So, as you can see, I play with the 
I don't hold this permanently on. I also don't filter it so you don't see white ones. Hey! I saw that. Okay. <laughs> so what is the ring? The ring, yeah. Awesome. Hey, I forgot I got splitter, that's true. Energy shield. Um, um, uh, it's actually good for marauders to have at least a little bit of energy shield because while you have some active, it makes you less likely to be stunned. So even if, in this case, I've got five points, it basically means the first hit that comes to me won't kill me. Sorry, won't stun me, and hopefully won't kill me as well. What's the um, what's the percent chance on that? It's ninety percent in this version, but we're reducing it to fifty percent in the next. Part right. of the ongoing hate campaign against witches that we're accused of. Wait, I thought we were accused of loving witches. Well, it depends whether you're a witch or not, I guess. Yeah. You know, we fix a bunch of inspectors and get feedback that we're obviously hating on them. Oh, it's quite dark here. You get that in shadows. Yeah, unfortunately this is way too trouble. Probably? Yeah, it, it drops in a lot of frames though. It's, it's a bit of... I blame the recording software. Oh, oh I have your right here. If I'm curious, I've had a loss of novel. In my eyes. <laughs> well, that wasn't even useful. I'm just gonna check what frame rate I'm getting. Alright. You know, I suspect it's because I... I don't know if you've seen one. Uh, I'm blaming the recording software. The recording software would presumably have some kind of sync. Yeah. It's a lot better here, but when we were running through the um, canyon there, it was relatively dark. It dropped a lot of frames. Right. Normally, when we do recording for promotional stuff, we use our own technique, which unfortunately doesn't record the uh, voices while we're playing, so we're just using some traditional software for this. Which is our first time doing so. Hey. <laughs> hey, well, at least I've got the old augmentation. <laughs> what? Yeah. Well, I've got a choice of two amulets here. Do you want the mana region? Or you... Um, yeah, I'll have a power amulet. A little touch of New Zealand there. Yep. I guess we're going. Uh, do you want to do the title island? I have no red sockets. Really? Yeah. Nice. I'm going to put this plate vest on. It's worse, but I'll get some red sockets out Right. Now I can use my heavy strike again. Yeah, let's do the title island. Okay. Once again, you ninja the monster before I get to it. What's the shared experience? The drugs are actually the part that... Yeah, when we actually deployed 0993 to beta initially, we didn't have the shared experience turned on. It took an entire day for that to get noticed and fixed. I, I remember we actually did quite a lot of multiplayer testing together, the two of us, the night before, and we played through all of Act 1 and most of Act 2 without noticing the lack of shit experience. <laughs> because we were equally killing the monsters. What's the stuff like? I'll link it to you. Blood beam. Mm -hmm. It's got some pretty low stats. It's not really that. But it's a big upgrade from what I was using, even though I'm overkilling the monsters. Which skill did you have? Um, just put a... Cool. Hey, uh, Warrior. Oh. Yes, you should have. Okay. Two bows for you there, my friend. Yeah, that's true. Uh, maximum mana and physical. This one's alright, 4 to 14. Yeah, that's better. Okay. 
grain, but I got lots of others. strike at this point, like the monsters here. Yeah. Really. And it feels so good. Yeah, it does feel good. Yeah, feels like, good, man. Yep. <laughs> I like that too. After we added Heavy Strike, I just felt so underwhelmed by many of the other melee attacks. Well, we really need to fix Cleave, that's the most... Uh, it's, Cleave is actually the very first, I think, effect to be... Oh, except for Fireball. We made Fireball first. Yeah, that's been through a few revisions. I guess smaller. Um, but, uh... Yeah, I think Cleave was one of the earliest attack skills that we made the art for, and I believe the art is still basically the same as it was when we first made it a long time ago. Well, I just felt that, and, and this has been fixed since then, but a lot of the default Marauder attacks in terms of just generally hitting stuff that didn't feel impactful enough. eric has gone through and throws that up a bit since then, yeah. to be a little bit more like Heavy Strike, while still keeping Heavy Strike dramatic. Volatus is up here. Was, did we even have Russell when we made... Uh, the cleave effect? Did I he make that? I can't remember. Uh, he's at least modified. Right. So this um, aura that you can see here is like a fake life regen aura that was initially on his back. We have turned it off in 094 because he doesn't actually have life regen. One okay. of well, the funny things is like the, the thing where he looks like there's a turban there is like one of the most reported bugs because it's just so obvious. But yet, like, it's kind of not really that important. I know. We, we get so many emails and PMs about that particular issue. Even I guess it's, it's just. I guess it's. Just, I guess it's just easy to notice until yeah. everyone reports it. It's not even really a bug per se. I mean, the aura yeah. has a lot of distortion. So it well, shows. The, the, the problem is actually just that the distortion um, isn't really smooth, um, and it only goes in one direction, I believe. Um, so therefore, it just effectively makes a clone of the guy. Yeah. Um, so we have to run back now. This area is actually. I think we can portal. Oh, no. We, we'll no. end up near the mud yeah, right, we'll 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 Let's just get new monsters like the ones down there that I can't know. get. To. Well, I can. <laughs> okay, we'll have fun doing that. This area is going to be changed so it's more circular right here, so that you can run in in one direction and out in the other, getting uh, monsters in both directions. I'm just going back to the. Uh, okay. okay. I'm just taking these rows. What? <laughs> You slash run. <laughs> Maybe we shouldn't talk about the cheats. <laughs> slash run works on alpha as well now. Really? Yeah. Oh right, yeah, because of the. I don't know. I still, I'm still of two minds about when the alpha test is cheat. Once slash you get run doesn't actually kill the monsters like yeah. the other thing. <laughs> the thing is, once you get used to it, it's hard to go back. Yeah. Do you reckon I should? Do you? In terms of like just basic quivers, would you go for the cold or the fire? Mm, fire does more damage because when it crits, it will do the damage again. That's true. Over a few seconds. But I mean, the, the chilling though. Yeah, chilling's good. But do you want DPS or survivability? That's true. Yeah, just close. Still got the old um, the old quest text display in zero and three. Yes, we haven't. They don't know anything about. Them. Well, true. Sure. No, it's not that exactly an important. Uh, no, it's, it was actually pretty cool. Yeah. It's prettier in zero nine four. As soon as zero nine four doesn't have any glaring major problems, we'll definitely be playing on that in the next episode. Did you, uh, I guess we should go back to town or something and actually get a reward for the uh, medicine chest quest? Yeah, well, soon, when we've handed in these glyphs to the wall, we'll be getting a reward for that Hand as well. Handed them into the wall? Yeah. <laughs> Just 
ready for the combat. Chris manages his minus so bad. <laughs> I'm missing because I right click on the wrong place. <laughs> that was very good. What is my accuracy? 79% chance. Do you want to do the uh, side area? Let's hand these into the wall and then do the side area. Oh, it's this guy. So this guy will kill you in 25 seconds if you don't hit him. But I think that will. <laughs> hey, is that a simple quiver I see? Seven cold resist, not exactly awesome at the start of the game. But better than the current. Right. Oh, oh, oh! Damn it, Chris! <laughs> Dude. I think Chris is probably the uh, ultimate item ninja. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of the viewers are watching thinking, what? I could have got that 40 milliseconds <laughs> yes, faster. probably, but uh, I guess I just suck at it. Oh wait, I actually, I actually didn't pick up the club. So did you pick it up? I have, I have, but they're separate. Yeah. What are we gonna... Chance... This I think chance is nice one. because you can get a unique from it if you know which base types have uniques. You could try and get red big. Yeah, I could. There's actually a unique bow now. Bow True. 1. So well, if you have well, a... It's not, it's not my with chance, is it? <laughs> I'd be willing to take a gamble for the team. See so if you can find a Driftwood bow. Um, you know, the chances are very, very unlikely. Yeah, well, what is the chance, actually? It'll be like... Um, well, it's an 8% chance that it might upgrade some magic. 7% that it upgrades to rare, and 3%-ish that it upgrades to unique, so it's quite low. As soon as we get the waypoint in here, we should go back to town. Yeah. Oh, shit! Pain shot of the mighty. Shot with pain. This is the accuracy in critical strikes, or... Right. I don't know, it doesn't really seem so dangerous as... Uh... It will be dangerous um, when you're at higher levels, because it basically... For a ranger, it just... The accuracy means just drop away most of your game. Right. Level up. So you're up there, just to keep the... Uh, the intel on the and use a strength. like this particular sound that those um, first spawns make when they hit you with that type of armor that I just really don't like. I the sound guy about it. Uh, it wasn't made by our current sound guy, but... Uh, he's responsible you know, for getting, he's it, responsible out for getting it. it out of there, yeah. Yeah, okay, maybe we do need to get a ton. I need some more spells. Alright, well, I've got a portal if you want. There you go. Awesome. I have to be very careful not to click on the portal like this. Yeah, we need to make the bounty box smaller. Yeah. That's good. So what do I want to use? What do I want to use? I guess poison arrow. Wait, uh, you get a, another gem reward? We did two quests that give you rewards. Hmm. I'll get elemental hit as well. Very tempting to chance this amulet. Wait, it was the, the yeah, it was the portal. I need to go through first. Cave crustaceans. You actually going to go with Sparks then, as your uh, as your okay. type? Or? socket that I need to use in front of work. Oh, right. So I'm looking for anything red. I guess I can use poison arrows my uh, single target damage skill. Yeah. 
It's a bit of an enigma that one. Such good single target damage, but it's also mess grades as a low rate effects. But yeah. I really like it actually. I use it on my high school as my primary attack. Yeah. Yeah. It actually uses a fair amount of mana, doesn't it? It's been increased in 0 9 4 I You hear? Yeah, it will literally help hold me. Alright, you're not doing any mana balance anymore? I'm dealing it. It was kind of costed as a simple thing, isn't it? Right, yeah. It could be wrong, I think it was that. Pretty sure it was. No, actually, I'm thinking of Rain of Arrows. Yeah, he increased that because um, it actually is quite easy to hit. So when Kyle's watching this, we're like, what? I think we're saying what you talked about first. <laughs> we could actually increase the time a little bit of um, Rain of Arrows, I think. Just a little. It does feel really good at the moment. Though, it I does think. feel very good, yes. This oh, we managed to loop the hell out of Man. People are going to think we're idiots, John. <laughs> Notice I throw your name in there to anchor it, sorry. Oh, yes. <laughs> no one remembers who I am. Right. Okay, crustaceans. Do you want to do the, um... Man, is this area, like, on bigger or something while I haven't been looking? It's random. Yes, that's what Reese always says. Well, I remember I blamed the boss drops on random as well. Part of the fun of watching a Let's Play video is when the people who are playing idiots. So. Sure. As you often do, right, Chris? <laughs> do you want to do the Flood of Depths, or...? Um, why not? Yeah. You, get a, you get a passive skill point. That is true, I forgot about that. Yeah. It's the incentive that needs to drag you down there. Right. Medium life flasks to drop out. This area was one of the first ones that I was really proud of how it looked. Um, mostly just because, I mean, I, I mean, it wasn't the first dungeon we made, um, but I think it was the first dungeon that we actually finished um, to look kind of final. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty, pretty happy with how it looks. Um, Despite being awesome, my favourite ones are still mostly. Oh, sure, I mean, there's a lot of awesome dungeons we've made since then. Yeah. But um, this was kind of the first one that looked awesome, uh, you know. The prison's come a long way. The prison is like, you know, not even... It's night and day compared to how it used to be. It's still night in there to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Eric was actually talking about having some like, sunbeams coming in from broken windows and stuff. Yeah, you know, it's funny because, um, in my opinion, the prison is good enough. But then if we'd thought that, that wouldn't have gotten how good it is now, so... Yeah. Eric is always keen to uh, improve the art. Is it just me or the monster suddenly a bit tougher? There is actually a correlation between how far through the game you are and how much life the monsters have. Yes. Suddenly I'm feeling they're uh, not doing the damage. Well, that's what the passive skill point is for. That's true. In fact, I don't think I've even allocated uh, my last card. Oops. Two points. What are we getting? Ah, I probably will go to Yeah, one big UI improvement that we need to do is making the passive skill... You have a passive skill point button nice and shiny. Yeah, alongside with the... Uh, your skill gems are ready to level up. Yeah, well that'll be of course... To be honest, we'll probably have to get that at 094. Yeah, I would say so. Otherwise, no one will to know. Uh, where's the ghost? Uh, there. I'll talk to Harry about that this week. Blue ring. I've been sitting here getting skill points. And you're off. Finding, <laughs> finding blue rings. I still see the uh, sand spitters walking backwards sometimes when they come out of their shells. As one of those bugs that's been vexing me for like years, I've never really had the how opportunity would, how to How would the code it. make them walk backwards? I just don't understand. <laughs> I have no idea why they do it. 
Well, I mean, there is this. Uh, Sanspit is kind of weird because of the way that um, the way they walk is different from the way that they attack. Um, so I mean, it'll be something to do with that, obviously. But uh, I don't really know why uh, that happens. I'm not actually sure anymore. Like, did we just turn the Sanspit around in the walk animation? Something or like this. did we actually? Because I know that at some point there was this like backwards movement thing added. That was kind of weird. Yeah. Maybe that's why. I don't know. There's a group of players calling for the sensibilities to be the same physical entity as the. Yeah. Show. Well, I know, but I mean, it's it's a bit of be a bit of a pain. You could do it by having like maybe a mesh that's hidden in that monster. I don't know if necessarily it has to be the same physical entity. It just has to probably be targetable while it's coming out of its shell. Hey. I'll just. Whoop. What do you get? A lot of good stuff. But you know, I get the. Order. Yes, because I was trying to. Tank a crab while he was trying to pick it up. <laughs> Does this happen? Does it? Alright, oh, yes. <laughs> Guess it would be bad to die. Yeah, I have the, uh, the monstrous descent on my screen because for a while it was looking like it was attacking. We know what I'm fix this problem, I swear. Hey! short of uh, some wisdom scrolls. Uh, so I'll give you them, I'll give you them in the next side of town. Yeah, it would be good. So what items do you have uh, at the moment? Just my rare stuff and the rest is kind of junk. Junk. I have a blue ring. What's got what's got in it? Strength, which is somewhat relevant. In fact, I'm going to use my augmentation to raise the level of this beyond where I can use it. Oh, that was fine. It increased my <laughs> maximum energy shield by 4%, which, as you can see, raises by 5 to 5. Wow. Got a real winner there. Yep. But that's why we play. To get screwed by the item mechanics. <laughs> I actually wasn't wearing a ring until just now. Oh, no spares. Well, I actually, I kind of forgot to pick up the white ones, and I was looking for blues. Yeah, close of ring. Uh, armor or I'm gonna go with damage. I'm feeling a little bit weak. This video is gonna end with my character dying. I can tell. Nah, that'll be a few. That was a late game, I think. Maybe, maybe the next one. Do I have my extra red socket yet? No. Okay, still looking up the red items. Poisonous gas everywhere. What mod did you get on the flask uh, for the? Oh, I got a good one. Um, that's right. I can't do it. I'm get the entry of. Yeah. That was one of the changes we made because half the players were complaining and caused the other half. To come. I actually did prefer to be able to pick them up from the belt, but everyone else wanted it to just drink. Yeah, well people were complaining that it would accidentally lift while you were in combat. Which then sits you with an item of so you can't fight or drops your flask. Man, this cave. It's a dead end cave. I need phase run. I could have picked it up earlier, but... Need slash run, Chris. Okay. That's the waypoint up here. Should probably spread the waypoint set a little bit more then. 
Uh, it's that, that one in the middle had to go there because of the, um, the need to come back after going down the side area. Mm -hmm. yeah. One suggestion is that we move from that point at the beginning and move the submerged path. Yeah, we could do. Yeah. We can maybe yeah. test it, so how many inches of us are going to Yeah, I don't know about that. I don't know if it would make sense in modern life. Kind of was pretty satisfying. I remember back when those uh, sirens used to be like absolutely ridiculous. Maybe we like, should get one again. Yeah, I mean, you know, it was fun, right? Like having the ridiculous. Because you know how they used to freeze you like hell? It was awesome. Well, I get the PM saying, oh, the Mervales are too hard. The Mervales? Yeah. <laughs> when you get like four Mervales around <laughs> Well, shit, this one down here might be a bit. Uh... Yes. <laughs> I don't know yeah. if the damage plus percent thing affects the spell. Yeah, that's actually the point, actually. I it do. may do. I'll ask Mark. Right. I do think that these monsters should be harder, though, because like, they're kind of like, you know, I mean, this is kind of the first cave. Um, so, we'll probably be good if we harder. Yeah. We don't want to alienate the new players too much. Well, yeah, but I mean, you know. Well, this is a spell decker. Really? Yeah, it's got crash and spell damage. Alright. No spellcasters here. Oh, there's another one of the damage down the Oh, what's that? You got a text message and we're still able to ninja the currency before I go out? <laughs> <laughs> That siren is massive. <laughs> I just pick it up and I hold it. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. You're just trying to get the exit? Well, there's no monsters to kill. Oh, there were a few chasing me. Oh, okay. We really need to fix that bug with the water dripping from the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, the lens is up here. Alright. Hey, you've got Infernal Blower. Why can't I click on that? I was trying to do the same thing. Hmm. Maybe the item priority is lower than the monsters or something? Or even the teammates? Or well, we could have been out of sync due to the monster being. No, I don't think it was that. I was. I think it was something else. That was. Transformation. What was the one you got? Transmutation or I think so. I've still got that chance. I'm just going to use it as much as Yeah. Next time I find another whip. You're going to... Um... No, I won't go for unique. Haha. <laughs> yeah. was a good two-handed axe. That requires a level 37. Right. Yeah, it wasn't too long ago when the um, the accuracy was just not important enough. Yeah, 
one of the drafts of Zero Down 3 definitely had a, almost a token stat that was pointless, but we fixed that. I don't know but that was the uh, final blow. Okay, I could use that to change my socket colors and my items. I have enough red ones. Man, the monsters seem to hate me. <laughs> Nice when we're working together. Yeah. Yeah. What? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I did that on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're well, under the poison. I thought we should manage that last a little bit. Still feeling uh, a little weak. This is an incentive to get a better weapon. Yeah, I just need a better bow. Like I'm still using the bow from the rare side of the game. If you see any bows, well, please tell me. One of the big changes in Zero Nine Four is we changed the scaling of the weapons so that uh, they're generally better compared to spells, especially. We kind of balanced it in Zero Nine Three, so you need gaps. Plus percent damage on the weapons to be very yeah, good. Fire storm. Very useful for us. I will use it. Really? This one is what I do. Cast some random fire storms as yes. in the water. Fire fury. <laughs> I'll make sure we do another video in 094 so you can see how much of a difference it makes for melee coaches. Plus, the other change that will help you get a new bow earlier is that 095 will of course have the improved vendor systems and that will make it much easier for you to basically trade in the stuff that's useful from other classes. What have I got? I've got a uh, driftwood bow. This short bow might even be better. Probably yeah, we walked past some flat bows. Really? I wasn't concentrating enough, like I was too busy talking. Oh wow. Hmm. You know what I'm going to do? Five. <laughs> Five. <laughs> I don't know if that's gonna work. <laughs> Seems pretty good to me. Okay. <laughs> Look at that. I guess this level was a huge yeah. amount of difference. Ow. Completely out of life. Yeah. So late. <laughs> Oh, the bone eater guy was in there as well. Oh, right. He used to be. Oh, he's pretty distinctive. It's just. Yeah, I'm, I've got wasted level life. 55 life. Okay, okay. there you go, I've got him. Okay, that doesn't help my class situation. Hmm. As Eric calls it, that's the currency item of healing. But it is something to bear in mind when balancing the currency system. We'll at least make it so you have to run up to Nessa to get your life back. So it's not just a quick in and out of time. Yeah. Look at the flavor for the she's supposed to be a healer after all. Some players will say that was just adding busy work from the field. <laughs> see my scroll farm over here? Yes, <laughs> scroll farm. Thanks for the uh... Oh, four scrolls out of that pack. Yeah. And people say we don't drop enough scrolls. I found some good XY coordinates to do it at. Wow. Well. <laughs> yeah. You'll start making people believe funny things if you keep saying things like that. Yep, the skeleton. Good 
if any of the viewers get the joke. Guys can actually, if they hit me, they'll stun. Yeah, that reminds me. Well, I... Dropping some frames there. It's a bit better. Than that. Oh, I think that the uh, the poison actually takes quite a bit of photo. Yeah, thanks for making the video recording. Just pushes it over the edge. Yeah. I'm glad we didn't do this in 10. <laughs> My graphics card's actually dying, so that might not be the best choice for the person doing the robot. that if these characters survive, the next video will be us in 094, which means sitting there reallocating our skill points for the first few minutes of the video. <laughs> right. We're actually changing the requirements stuff a lot. It's probably going to be quite confusing for some players. Well, Chris has got this major, major fear that everyone's going to allocate their skills incorrectly and... Uh, screw up their characters. Screw up their characters. It's going to happen. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I mean, you've even got that warning message and everything. I know. <laughs> But that's because, like, if you log into your character and then reallocate your skills as they were in 093, it will now suck. Like, you won't have the attributes you need to make them right. I've had positive responses so far to telling people what the requirements get used by harder. Well, the thing is, is that, like, you kind of can get away without allocating attributes at the moment. Yeah. Um, you get enough passively per level, but in 094 it's definitely of course. Right. Hey, there's another magic quiver. Man, those 30 strength belts. It's interesting you mention those. Why? They're, because having a lot of strength on belts, quivers, and amulets is a very important part of being able to meet the requirements for new items that you find. You know, it's one of those things where... The strength on quivers? There's dex on quivers. Oh, right, okay. Where you meet, like... Um, it kind of seems a little odd to have dex on quivers. Oh, it's, it, the idea is if you're some duelist with a lot of strength and dex, and you find some awesome yeah. bow, you can get a quiver to go with it. It's quite familiar. Void bow. <laughs> Destroy it. Awesome bow. Explode. I want that trapping bow. I wonder if anyone's 
just got to straight that plan to get one Um, hopefully. There was last time. So I guess the, uh... There's three hours, right? Yes. And hot ground. Oh, right. So we are... 44 minutes and 6 seconds in at the whole time. Okay. Do you want to end the video after Brutus? Sounds good. Sounds we'll get the prisoner's gateway plan. Yep. Well, at least I will. If you're still alive, you can get it. <laughs> Damn it, did you...? Yes. <laughs> I don't believe it sometimes. <laughs> okay. Gotta run the long way around. I should have chosen Leap Slam. <laughs> yeah. You're doing... you've got... that's an axe, right? The old uh, video uh, Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. It's an axe because that has a blade on one side rather than... Yeah, I remember having an argument with Eric about that one. <laughs> an argument with the players of the Alright. I just oh. got a pang of guilt killing that cat. And they are cats, by the way, not dogs. What was it that Sean called them? I can't remember if it was awesome. <laughs> Hi Sean. Okay. Hey, it goes down a level. Yeah. That's because I left it randomly generated. <laughs> Man, I'm desperate needing a bit of bow. Like, I'll kill you what? I'll let you use the awesome chance, which will give you all these information. But, but I need to find a, um, a normal one first, a recent, a decent flip. Okay. Well, the shop will have base types, and we check my shop as well. That's true. before complaining on the forum that there aren't enough items to look in the shop. I don't think the complaint is there aren't enough items, it's the ones that they actually want. <laughs> well, I, I am going to get into the demands that we buy the items much more towards Really? The really? You are? I've done some testing. I don't know, man. Afraid. I... I'm not really a fan. It's, it's already biased a bit, I just think we can raise up. It is? Yeah. Hey, there's a composite play. Let the base type here. And here, have the open chance of good luck. Alright. Well, that's chromatic. Go into the item when you roll it. Do you really have that bias in there? Yeah, that's being a phrase. Hey, there's it's a rare! Congratulations. Hurry on the boss. You should link it. Alright. There you go. It's got some damage, some dex, a bit of life gain, and some increased rarity so you can find a better one. Hmm, <laughs> 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 actually should do more than your current one, right? Oh, sure, definitely, but, um... But you don't have any green sockets. Oh, uh, well, that's why this is for you. Uh, I don't need the sockets. Like, I'll find something okay, else. Okay, I'll take one. It's okay, you don't need them. With the item biasing, the reason you do it is... Imagine every item has ten tickets when it's being dropped, like ten tickets of chance. And at the beginning of the game, there's one type of sword, one type of axe, and so on. That's all well and good. When you introduce a new type of sword, it's got half chance of being dropped if a sword drops because there's now two types of sword. The problem is by the end of the game. Oh, you mean biasing towards level? I thought you were talking about biasing towards class. No, no, no. Okay, no that totally level. changes. Okay. Like, <laughs> that's why I was so confused. I was just saying I want to increase the level biasing so that high level areas have higher. Right. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's okay. Okay. Sorry, I was totally confused. Yeah. By you. Definitely no class biasing. Having said that. We could totally do that. No, don't do that. <laughs> what I mean is, it's um, just lame. A unique that makes it so that oh, you're more likely to yeah, find Yeah, I items. know you've been keen on your like bi bias and rarity uniques. Okay, so we're in the awesome now. <laughs> this is like the most recognizable room in the prison. Oh, it's the same one each time. It's got the waypoint out. Yeah. And no monster spawners in that room normally. Which is good because it makes it more tense. Oh, it's so tense when we're just <laughs> Don't know. I 
Okay, now we're talking. Do you like the damage? It's a bit better. <laughs> I need to swap some items around, so I'll just wait in the middle of combat and talk. Sounds like a plan. Reinforced or the pupil. <laughs> I got a 50% DPS gain from that. What do you cut? This uh, tribal one. Oh, right. Uh, large minor flask, I seem to have skipped the medium. Quite keen to get doors in the film. Yeah, okay. Okay, you say, Greg. It'll require that we don't show monsters in the doors areas that you can just see. Yeah, well, I'm quite keen to do that, but uh, because it's not on the ex immediate horizon. Where'd you go anyway? Alright, oh, oh, there I am. Went, I went to explore a dead end. Sounds like a plan. <laughs> There is, but we shouldn't use it. No, I know that's great. It looks really ugly. Here we go. Hey, they got a torch there. It's actually being like. Yeah, in fact, 094 has even more improvements. Yeah, to the well, this area, like, in 094. Yeah. Well, it's interesting because the area just before Brutus now hey, has monsters you can kill. Oh, this is medium damage for this. Man, have you seen the 094 um, elemental skellies that are in the Cathedral of Bone? Um, on Russell's screen a long time ago. They're really awesome. Looking. Like, he made them so much better. Okay. Yeah. I don't know if they're in this dungeon as well. Um, well, we're about to playtest the hell out of that version, so I guess we'll find yeah. out. Yeah. Man. Grim Trap Plunder. We really need to add more uh, oh. names into the generator for <laughs> Okay. You got the bus? So. I thought you did. Oh, maybe. I mean, it was firing, but... <laughs> I was running away. Healing. <laughs> this is hardcore, right? <laughs> yes. Hardcore, please. Man, this is a bit of a graveyard here. That means that if we die, we get laughed at by a lot of people. If they don't watch us. I don't know if we'd post the video if we died. <laughs> they, well, they can also see okay. the video when Chris dies. Okay. Man, where are the monsters coming from? There's still a ton of monsters in this area. Oh crap, I'm getting out. Whoa, 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 Okay. <laughs> yep, there's some fire damage. Oh, it's the fire damage design. Yeah, it's designed to do that to make you fear when you get resistant. These skeletons just keep on coming, like... I feel like someone's put some skeleton spawners in here that I don't know about. <laughs> perfect program with maximum life. Huh. Yeah, flat bow, this magic could be... This composite bow is still the best, right? For this level, probably. Yeah. There's actually a list on the website. True, but I can't exactly do that while we're You can. <laughs> Better than what I'm wearing. I need to dump a lot of this stuff. 
Oh wait, I've got strength. And of course we both have passive for as well, bitch. Five. What? There's <laughs> only two here. Got some life regen now. Probably gonna make that one a percentage regen rather than a flat rate. I think we may have gone entirely the wrong way. Well, this is all a big dead end. But we've got items. That's true. And experience. So that entire fight could have been avoided. <laughs> the giant long one. Okay. We need to bring back the boss uh, Shatters. Skeleton Giant boss. skeleton boss. I think it was Chatters our first boss that we added? Um, it was definitely in the early build. I think it was added on the Christmas party about two uh, two years ago. Yeah. It was two years? It could even be three years ago now. It could be. Wait, well, is the Man, the time definitely flies. Probably not too bad. I mean, we'll get plus ten percent damage at least. Right. This is. We made. Do we make Brutus harder in the next? Or is it? We haven't adjusted. Oh, we haven't adjusted him yet. Okay. There's a lot of plans for the Brutus fight to make it more interesting. Yeah. Um. So this is where you follow the trail of gore. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good to me. Well, in zero nine four, this area has little monsters you can kill to get some fast charges back and to have some. Right. But I mean, eventually the, the fight will be a lot more interesting. We've got a lot of stuff planned for it. Um, so hopefully it should be. Here he is. I'm quite a lot of armor, so I'm allowing you to go. I'll just soak up the Right. And then run around like a little girl. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! That's quite a lot of stuff. Damn it, I got no room. <laughs> I got the leather belt. Okay. Dude, I'm getting in that chest before you can. Hey, what? <laughs> None of that. Go, 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 go. <laughs> go, go, gadget. Chest. Ninja. I should drop this crap out of my inventory on the way there. Looks like it. Oh, there's nothing good. Ah. Oh. Okay, well we may as well go and take the next waypoint before calling it a day. Alright. Awesome prisoner's gate. For a long time, the uh, alpha only went up to just the end of the Brutus fight. You get to about level 13 or 14. Mm. How long ago was that now? Maybe. Yeah, yeah just, year. just over a year. Yeah. yeah. Okay, well, there we go. Time to head to town and call this a day. Thanks very much for watching, guys, and hopefully we get time to do this again sometime. Okay. Okay. See you later. See you later.